Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Kim, and um, thank you for tuning back into my channel. Um, today I have some great finds. Um, I just went to a thrift store, a secondhand store that um, is in my area, and I found some great um, doilies and stuff, so I just thought that I would show you. Let me move this over. Um, I found some great books and stuff too, I'll show you. Um, this one is really cute. Um, they were 50 cents, so I thought that was a really cute uh, doily. And regardless of the size, they were 50 cents. So this this one's really pretty. Some of these I'll probably cut up and use, um, you know, as trim. This one's real pretty too. Well, they're all real pretty. This one I thought would be cute. Um, it's all like eyelet, so I could cut the trim off and use that. And then the flowers down the center. Uh, this one here. That might be nice to cover. Um, to cover a book, maybe. It's really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... I really liked it. This here is kind of falling apart, but um, some of these I thought, you know, I could just cut them off and have, you know, just like one single doily and use use a few of those, the ones that I could salvage. Let's see, this here, this is something I could use to cover. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the pattern with the flowers. That's really cute. Let's see. And this one here has little stars. So um, I plan to cut those out and just use the individual stars in my journal. Because, you know, it's old, so some of them are torn and, and funky. This one here, I'm not sure what I'll do with this. Maybe just cut the three out in the center. I don't know. We shall see. This I thought was really pretty, too. This has lots of flowers. And then even the little flowers in the center that go catty corner. Lots and lots of stuff. And this one, this was two dollars, and it's really long. It's it goes the whole length of like your table. And uh, I just thought all the doilies that'll make like just these little ones and then the big one um, and I'll be able to carefully take it apart because they're just by little little strings so that I think I'm set for quite a while with doilies that's for sure that was a good deal and then I got um, some old books uh, let's see this one here is just household hints and uh, for doing books um, you know like sewing books and things like that I thought this would be really cute put a page in here they're just little tips uh, around the house um, let's see How to shampoo your own upholstery fabrics. Um, don't try to wash slip covers unless you know the fabric is pre-shrunk. Um, never use furniture polish or oil on the case of a piano. <laughs> um, make your present wallpaper last longer. It tells you um, little tips how to do that. How to protect floors. Um, freshen your flowers 
bring new life to uh, flowers. Um, let's see. Dissolving ugly brown stains from glass cooking utensils. All kinds of things. Um, these are spots and stains. Then there's laundry, kitchen secrets, needle craft magic, um, fix it up homeowners, general household appliances. Making old things look new. Let's see. Interior decorating. All kinds of neat things. Um, let's see when this was. It was actually uh, printed from a bank that they gave um, their customers for a dollar and let's see I'm trying to see the date looks like 1948 that's really cute so anyway I thought that was a good find and this one is this is one of my favorites let me see here Here is this little book. It's a sewing machine manual. It is so old. It's just a tiny little book. And they put in the type of belt I guess it had. And um, I don't see a date in here. How to thread your bobbin and preparing to sew. I just thought this was so cute. Don't know the date though. But it's definitely old. And by the looks of it for sure. So that was cute find. These, I love these. These are Reader's Digest books that I can alter, and um, the, they had they must have had like 20 of these, and I've been looking for them for a long time, and um, there's a secondhand store that just has, you know, books, and he never, he never has them. He says, you know, he, he just doesn't like to keep them for some reason, and I went to uh, uh, Goodwill, and they had these. And look at the, the cover. Isn't that pretty? And the, the, the spine here, it's, got, it's like pink. I mean, it has to be cleaned for sure. And uh, maybe done a little, do a little something on there. And this is really fragile though. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to salvage that or not. Might have to put a different spine on it, but I just thought that was so cute. So that's that one. And this one, look how pretty that is. It has a dragonfly and flowers and everything. And um, the spine on here is in really good, really good condition. They are Let's see how old they are. This one's 1957. And the pages, to uh, recycle the pages, these images are so neat. And they're in color. So it'd be fun. Make pockets and whatnot. 
So that is that one. And then, yeah, so I narrowed it down to just three. And this one, how pretty is that? It's so nice. And the spine, again, this one's fragile. So I'm not sure how, how I'm going to do that. Because I really like that, but I may just have to put something different there. But this has uh, some colored images as well. It's kind of nice to see color. You don't really see color in books nowadays. Not in this type of book. So, really cute. Yeah, see, that's, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Any suggestions, um, leave it in the comments. <laughs> I'll just have to reinforce that somehow. Put that back on. But those are really pretty. Really old, pretty. I found also this. Let me move these out of the way. This was someone's book. They must have been really into uh, floral plants and all that because, let me get to the back here, they've highlighted in it, they've uh, written in the back, let's see, it's like definitely been used, it's all tape, taped up and but I really liked the images. Um, and they have in here the dates that they planted them. And uh, let's see. This one saying that it's not good. That was in 95. This was in 91. Uh, 95, 96. She must have used this one. And then she said in 99, there's still flowers. So she really was into uh, her, her plants, that's for sure. But I just thought this was really cute and interesting. And, and I definitely like the pictures. And fussy cut them. I just don't know if I want to keep the page the way it is with all her writing in it. Or fussy cut the pictures. I kind of like how she's, you know, written her little, it's like her little plant diary. Really pretty cool. She got that one at Farmer's Market. She says where she bought all of them. Who she gave them to. Um, she added in her own little information. So, yeah. She's got all this in here. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I thought it was pretty interesting for 50 cents. And here's some more goodies that I found in their, their area with the um, vintage materials and doilies and things like that. Their seam binding, let me move this, seam binding, here's yellow seam binding, it was 15 cents, Fruit of the Loom made in the US. Yellow. 
Uh, this one, this is even older than that one. Uh, seam binding, and it's three yards for 10 cents. This one uh, must be a bit older. The seam binding is 28 was 28 cents. This is like a, a different material. It's not seam binding. But I thought that was cool. Um, seam binding for a dollar. That was navy. So that's not as old. Here's some more. Um, this was 15 cents for the little zigzag. So cute. 19 cents. And this hasn't been opened or anything. I mean, it's in great condition. And I really, I thought, I can't decide if I want to use them or if I'm just going to put them in my sewing journals. Um, you know, in a pocket or whatever is like a little extra something like, you know, something cool to have. Maybe I'll do both. Uh, here's another little zigzag. That was for 25 cents. This is a type of thread. It says, will not shrink and it's washable. Um, it says it's nylon but it doesn't seem like it. But that was 10 cents. This is uh, lace. It's, well, it's seam, they call it seam binding, but it's, it's more of a lace. 39 cents for that one. And this one here, it's, uh, it's got like eyelet here, um, ruffled embroidery, two yards for 59 cents. That would be nice for a trim. This, I loved this one. I don't know if you can see that. It's so delicate. Uh, with the pink little flowers. Made in Germany. No price on this one. Definitely old. I can even smell it. It smells old. That old smell. Embroidery edging. This one's made in Germany as well. And this see if I can slide it out so you can see it without tearing this all up. Hmm. Well, it's like a uh, seam binding, but it has a scallop to it. I don't know if you can see that. It won't come out. It's all taped in. Let's see. Maybe I can get it out. I don't want to tear it all up. There we go. There. So it's already got the antique look, the vintage look, because it's aged so much. But I thought that was really pretty. This says it was 10 cents. That same brand in Germany and uh, if you can see that it's really pretty these I think I'll use and this little kit it's just a little sewing kit this tape this tape measure alone is it's like it's so old it's like a paper it's paper But I thought this would be so cute to put in a journal. Just the whole kit itself, like in a pocket. 
be so adorable. So that is my thrift store th bargains that I got today. And um, I guess that's all for today. And I want to thank you for, um, for watching. And um, thanks for your comments and all your support with the journal that I made. Um, so many, so many comments. I was really touched and moved and um, really appreciate all y'all's support. And uh, thank you. And um, have a safe, safe day and I'll take care.